So this is our 23rd year of celebrating the right to read and think freely. Long live the book! Yes. Yes. Now, when we started, we were in the bookstore down at Thackeray's for the first three years, and I just took some of my students with me, and we read books overnight, read from BAM books overnight. We always had the graveyard shift, and we would end it with breakfast at Papa John's. And we had no idea, no idea that anything would be happening. And I especially did not know that I would be in charge, you know. <laughs> no idea at all. So the early years, we kept no records. You know, why keep records for something you're just doing with the bookstore? And then we came to campus, and the first few years were a real struggle, but it took root, and now we are doing it every year. And I would really like to say thank you to the wonderful people who help and are on the coalition. It's just so great to have them. Arjun Saberhall has been putting up with my nagging for quite a while. Because I am sort of like a woodpecker on a tree, you know, it's just tap, 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 tap. But he's very patient and he does an excellent job for us. And Symmetra, Dr. Shini Vasan, has been involved with it for quite a while too. And she's always a great help. And she helps me sometimes with just understanding some of these tech things. And then we have Sadia Farouk, and Sadia is here with us from Pakistan. She took my class and went to her first BAM books in 2013. Now her husband is working on a second medical degree at, at, at the hospital here, so we have her back, and she's my unofficial voluntary assistant and <laughs> I'm really enjoying having them back in town. It's wonderful. And her husband, Ali, helped us get this set up so we could go to three different places. And he's been a great help and he loves books and reading. And so we're very fortunate to have him with us. And then Laura Mitchell, was one of my graduate students who got her master's, and she's a UT alum. She is also a huge help. We did the door prizes in her, well, you have to do them according to the CDC guidelines, so it was quite a show in our gloves and our masks and doing everything the way we were supposed to, and she's been with us for quite a while too, so. And then we have another one, Josie Schreiber, who's taking care of her two babies who are under three, and she'll be back. But she just, right this minute, could not do it. <laughs> but we look forward to her returning. And, and that's the thing. I might coordinate it, but nothing would happen without these other people. They all do so much to help and to come up with ideas, just unbelievable. And the hours that Arjun has put into this this year, you know, there should be some kind of huge award and Ali has put a lot of hours into it too. Of course, I've, you know, I put hours in, but it's just, would be impossible without their help. Now this is our time to recognize the power of reading and the meaning that reading brings to our lives. If we were not allowed to read what we wanted, somebody could control our thinking. We wouldn't live in a democracy any longer. So it's very important and another reason that 
I just love this holiday is because so seldom do we ever think about the joy that reading brings to our lives. Reading is, is natural. It's like breathing. Sass, so what's the big deal? We don't really pause to think about the power of books, the way, the way a book can take us to places we couldn't get to otherwise and show us the interior of the heart. And so it's 23 years in. I would like to show you the mayor's proclamation, but I think I will do that after the first presentation since they have their slide up already and are raring to go. Well, I can take it down if you'd like. Could you for just a second? Yeah, absolutely. And we can see the his go. honor, the mayor. There's Sumitra. Hi. Glad you're here. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. You're gonna share the screen. Can you see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is so weird. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as you can see it, I can see your pictures, and then it's sort of off on, on the corner. But can anyway, you maximize I, the screen, Paulette? Do I what? Can you yeah, maximize yeah, the window? It's, it's only a partial screen on your end. Oh, and now I can't. The, the green, the the green round. Button. The green round button. Top uh, left. On the top left, green bound, green round. See the the red, yellow, green, further to the left. Yeah. I don't have it. Yes, oh. you do. I have on the title, on, on the title bar, follow it. Just yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah. There we go. Maybe that will work. Yes. Yeah. Now I see your pictures, but can you see the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, I can. sort of. Just the border is, uh, you know, missing. I think that's because of the gallery view. But yeah. Well, the mayor was very kind to do this proclamation, and Thursday is going to be the official for the city of Toledo. Read Ban Books Day. And he also sent us a clip that the press has been using. He did a little video. And so we're very grateful to the mayor. And I thought it was really, I don't know, I, I guess you can see it anyway. I have the boxes in the way. But I thought it was very kind of the mayor to do this for us. And it shows that reading and reading banned books and standing up for the right to read and doing away with censorship. This is something that our elected officials, some of them care about too. And we were very glad to get this proclamation from the mayor. So we've been spreading it around, trying to get people to see it. So rah, rah. Hooray for our mayor, Wade Kapsowitz. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. yay. Yeah, claps. <laughs> <laughs> and so I will stop sharing that, but it, it is wonderful to give some support. And I appreciate everybody who is here this morning. And without further ado, we are going to go into our first presentation. <laughs>